quarterback, my guess is the man that sings this song, Paul Petty of Poker Face. All right, Paul Toe Petty, Poker Face, and that's that song that you were listening to, folks, is Grassoline. Which album is that on, Paul? Uh, the most recent one, uh, Peace of War. That was this five, came out last year. You know, number one cash crop, a billion dollar crop, stolen from you, folks. Purposefully. Purposefully. Stolen from you, sent to China, sent to Russia. Oh, you can grow it in China, you can grow it in Russia. You know, can't grow it here. Can't grow it here. Can't grow it here. Can't renew your soil. Can't replenish your soil. Can't draw in the fulvic acid. Can't get you the nutrients that we need. And, and you know, it's not, uh, besides, you know, making, uh, making baskets, belts, and, you know, writing your constitution on it and making your flag out of it, you know, we're, we're talking about something that cures cancer. And, and this has been, I, I think, the war on drugs engineered by William Randolph Hearst in return for that nice little mansion on the hill. And the fact that he could keep making his paper uh, by cutting down redwoods. You're right. Uh, your livelihood, America's livelihood has been stolen, and it's a war on the American people. One in every 31 Americans in prison on parole on probation. Over 2 million people in prisons right now. Right now, more than any communist, so-called communist country out there. Paul, not, why aren't people outraged? People are sitting around going, "Well, if he's been smoking that pot, he deserves that. He he deserved to go to jail. He deserved to be punished because he's what you know." And and if you if if a police officer of a man in uniform get up and go, "What do you got in your pocket, boy?" Then you ain't a free man. You ain't in a free country, folks. I got a nine millimeter in my pocket. <laughs> and and Paul, I think one of the problems that we've had in the Patriot Movement. How do we reach the young people? When I went with Charles to some colleges, you know the 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 young men in the room. We're scared to death, and and I finally went up and said, "What what's what's wrong with you guys? What 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 are you what are you upset about?" Well, well, you're the militia, aren't you? Yeah. How old are you, son? Oh, twenty-two, huh? Hmm. Guess what? You're the militia, do you afraid of yourself? Yeah. And and. Your music is reaching those people. But let me ask you this. You know, we the music is such a powerful force. You know, Steppenwolf, Country Joe and the Fish, they, 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 they uh, Grateful Dead, they stopped a war. We stopped a war. And yeah, that's why that's why they make sure that um, any acts that they sign to the labels today will no will not make that happen. So that there's no real bands out there because you know if you're going to start telling the truth, they'll make sure that you get blacklisted or that you'll never be seen on the on the Jew media again. And uh, we had the opportunity to play ball with them if we would change our lyrics, and we told them to go uh, screw off. So you're. You can go to freeamerican.com and a link right there directly to your site. They can buy they can buy the music online right now. And but they're not going to play Grassoline on your AM or FM station, are they? Uh, I doubt it. Uh, maybe some college stations, sure, but that's about it. It's the control of the media that. Uh, Ninety percent of our problems are caused by. I mean, you know, they, 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 the, the media is what it makes it think it was a good thing for your outgoing President Bush to give away two trillion dollars a year tax 
taxes, supposedly. And, like I said, and, round up the bankers, man. <laughs> do you? Okay, what kind of response are you, are, are you getting in the colleges now? I've tried to book. Uh, I've tried to book shows in the colleges, and didn't get a very good response. At least in Albuquerque. You know, we got we had good response to the preparedness expos that uh, we did around the country. The ones yeah, that I about 10, 15 years too too ahead of your time, man. That's all. Because people weren't losing their jobs at that time like they are now. People weren't losing their homes like they are right now. Until you have enough people on the streets, you won't have your walking army that you need to take back the country. Because you're still too fat, dumb, and happy, man. Now, if if we if you look at my platform that I've got up there that Sauter wrote, he says the first thing we should do is abolish all laws against victimless crimes and, and release people from prisons that are being held in there for... For what something they were had in their pockets, something they were smoking, or as uh, Waylon Jennings said, you know, I got busted for something that was gone, you know. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Willie Nelson, poor guy, man, they keep busting him. Keep on, he's an easy target. Come on, leave Willie alone. <laughs> it, uh, I've, I've got, I've got that old, that whole, the whole story is linked up on my website. Now, I, 40 years ago, Paul, I wrote a story about the United States when four states stayed the way they are right now with the whole prison system, arresting people for pot, and the rest of the country, it was legal, you could do whatever you want, do it in public, no, 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 no problem. You know, New Orleans had a, had a nice aroma. And, and... At the time, there wasn't any such thing as medical marijuana. We weren't. We didn't see the uh, the dispensaries that we see in L.A. now. So, so what I wrote 40 years ago is happening now. It's happening now. And uh, I don't think uh, uh, the world wasn't ready for that kind of thought 40 years ago. Mm -hmm. But the way things are, are moving today. I think it's, uh, I think, uh, you know, if high times had come out now, it there, there'd be a, a, a lot different direction and, and, and more strength and power in this whole movement. We need to, the, 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 the enemy and, and what the Zionists use more than anything is hate and divide and conquer. Yep. You know, you're a Republican? Oh, well, I'm a Democrat. Oh, you're a you're a liberal. I'm a conservative. You know, and the conservatives want to put uh, uh, the liberals in jail because they're smoking pot. You know, wait a minute. The liberals want to put the uh, gun owners on the right in jail because they're exercising their right to buy our arms. Yeah, it, the system screwed up, dude. You know, we need to be focusing on what's best for America and, and get past our little zero to twenty percent differences that we may never agree on, man. But the elite definitely divide us on our smallnesses. Well, we need to come together on our majorities. You know, I, I you might keep this in mind. I'm going to be making some changes here. I, I've talked to people about low-cost structures, teepees and yurts. I've got a manufacturer in line for those. I've got a property just outside of Sturgis, South Dakota, called the Antlers at Bear Butte. This is a residential uh, development. They've got uh, three acre lots for sale, and they've uh, offered five of those lots along the highway for Liberty Villages, the first Liberty Village. So it's, it's really all about money right now. Right. They have the economic control, they print the money, they fund the companies that aren't going to tell you shit. They're not going to tell you. So one of the things we have to take back is the media first. We need to get your kind of music out there, your kind of lyrics out there. We got to get, you know, David Duke is a, is a wonderful writer and got a very clear understanding of this whole Jewish supremacism type thing. 
and of course he's demonized. He's demonized. I'm demonized. You know, they, this is this is the game they play. Well, you know, it's getting to the point that there's enough critical mass of how many people that the blacklist is and blackballed that we should be able to form our own, you know, new media. You know, bring in the uh, the Mel Gibsons and, and, and others that you know the the Jews have basically said that you, you know you're no longer welcome here. Well, guess what? No, you're welcome over here. We'll make great Americana films first, man. And uh, expose expose the devil and, and his chicanery going on right now. <laughs> you know, I, if 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 the Jews God, you mean gold, oil, and drugs? <laughs> if 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 you know if the Jews like to, to go back and say, "Oh, where it is? Our God is this. Our God is that. Our God is this." Well. Uh, we've got some Jews that uh, that say that their God is the devil. So yeah. some somewhere along the line, you know, did did they switch roles? Did the devil become God and 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 uh, God, uh, and uh, you know God became the devil in their in their in their their viewpoint? I mean, if you it, to me, it's real simple. If you're trying to steal from somebody else, if you're trying to take something else somebody's got, you're trying to get somebody else to uh, give you, uh, you know, half of your wages or whatever for a protection, you know, you're a criminal. Mm -hmm. And Damn if man. you're not doing anything to hurt you want to sit over there on your, uh, in your rock chair and smoke that corn cob pipe, it ain't nobody's business what it smells like. No, no, but they want to make sure that their uh, control monopoly markets, you know, they get all they're supposed to get with you buying their drugs and alcohol. And if you're not going to uh, give them your money, which they feel that is theirs to begin with, and it's only temporarily in your hands, well, if you try to buy anything outside of the control monopoly markets, then you got to go to jail because you're a financial criminal, dude. That's what it is. These are if, financial crimes against the Jew and his markets. That's right. That's right. And and you know they've used the mass media. I mean, come on, they declared what the the Jews in New York City declared war on the Germans and started an economic boycott with a full page ad in New York Times. This is the level that we have returned to today. I mean, we've got to we but but. We're the Jews. We're the Palestinians right now. White Americans right now. They're the racists. They're the honkies. They're the uh, they're the they're the right wing radicals. They're the patriots. You know. And if we they're try to make any money, if we man. try to make any money, we're a patriot for profit. You know. This is the the propaganda of the war. The the sixty minutes piece uh, against sovereign citizens was to really that was the that was the warning shot fired over the bow. They're ready to come after any American that wants to be free. Right. You got it, brother. You're not allowed to speak free. You're not allowed to think free. If you have a, a thought that's outside the mainstream that the Jew, Jews telling you to believe in, you go to jail. Just look at all, all the people in jail for having a difference of opinion on, on the holy cost. And, um... There's 250,000 people rotting in jails everywhere from Canada to Austria to Germany to France, Australia, I Israel, soon to be America because Americans here <laughs> are clueless lemmings, you know. Only until they're, they're out of their comfort zones will they, they care. And by then, it'll be too late for the majority of them because, you know, you didn't buy the guns when you could. Once you close the stores, it's done. The war is on. And what you got to do? The Butter Knife Brigade? <laughs> It's, we are at a crucial point. We do have the chance. We have, you know, the, the, with the internet, they can monitor us, they can control us, they can control the credit cards and all that. Well, that's okay. We can use that. We can use that. I say, instead of walking in and handing somebody Federal Reserve notes, I might as well hand them a Federal Reserve card. I can operate with that. But if we, if we withdraw, if we just, just do what the Bible says, come out of it, Paul. Come out of it. And we start the Liberty Villages. We start working together as a community again. This is what they want. They want to drive the communities apart. Oh, he's a he's a biker man. You don't want to go around him. 
Yeah, yeah, he's a pothead. Yeah. Oh, he's a uh, he's a uh, one of those right wing radicals, <laughs> constitutionalist. You know, this is this is what and, and they did the same thing to our veterans that came back from Vietnam. Now we were right to stop in the war, Paul, but it wasn't the troops' fault. We didn't start the war. We just went over there and did what we were supposed to do, what we were told to do, like good lemmings. Now the troops are starting to wake up. Now the troops are going to start working against them. Because when I came back and found out every plank in the Communist Manifesto was intact in America, as a, a former soldier took an oath to defend the Constitution, I felt kind of compelled to do something about that. Well, every generation has to have people like you and I to, you know, battle against these freaks, man, because otherwise it's a done deal. And uh, the world will plunge into darkness like it never has before. You thought the uh, supposed dark ages of the, you know, the Middle Ages of Europe were, were the dark ages. We haven't seen real darkness. And um, the fight's on now while we still got the guns in our hands. Because once, once you're freed up of your guns, you truly are a slave. Well, look at England. Look at, uh, look at Australia, you know. The crime rate didn't go down. <laughs> no, nah, it skyrocketed. But they know this. But they, They're not about facts. They're about lies and trying to get the, the sheeple dumb to, to give up their, their rights by, you know, brainwashing them to think that guns are bad. Well, yeah, so is a hammer, man. So is my car. I can run, run you over or beat you in the back of the head with a hammer and kill you just as easily. But, uh, you know, I, I don't hear any, any cries for hammer control, you know. And, and God forbid car control. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, everybody's, aren't you, aren't you afraid to ride that motorcycle, Clay? No, no, I'm, I'm afraid of getting a car, you know, you know how many people are killed in cars? <laughs> now tell me about this, uh, uh, tell me about this, uh, uh, Professor. event, the, uh, uh, the Freedom Palooza, Freedom Palooza, that's freedompalooza.com, it's up on the website, it's all linked, but, uh, and you'll have copies of the show shortly after it's done here, and an MP3 you can put up on the on the uh, site. Freedom Palooza is a concept that we've had for years. Um, we've just never had the time to, to do it and the opportunity, but the opportunity presented itself for this uh, coming for for Father's Day weekend, the Fourth of July. Um, it'll be Saturday, July second and third. It's a two-day event. Uh, ten great bands and ten great speakers both days. Uh, it's a ten dollar donation per day. Uh, that also gets you camping for free for the night. Uh, you're allowed to bring beer in cans only. No glass or no other containers except beer cans. Uh, the owner's cool enough to let us to do that and have campfires. What you bring in, you bring out. You take with you. You take your own trash that you brought in. Um, you know, our side of the fence, we always clean up after ourselves. We, we uh, are a good uh, representation uh, of the freedom community. So those that are attending, you know, we, we welcome you to join us for a freedom festival as it should be. Hopefully we can turn it into a traveling fest. There should be a lot of great vendors uh, selling everything from books, DVDs, to maybe some actual survival supplies. And uh, you can contact us at uh, PokerFace at PokerFace.com. And... Uh, yeah, it's it's a great day. Freedompalooza.com gets you to the site, uh, has directions on there how to get to it. And since we're all poor and we can't afford gas, this is for uh, for those of us living in the Pennsylvania, New York, New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland area. And we hope to have, you know, a couple thousand there. That'd be great. That'd be wonderful. That'd be wonderful. Now, what's the date on it again? July 2nd, July 3rd. Uh, for July 2nd, our featured speaker is James Traficott. And we're looking very forward to having him there. Good. Uh, I I, I want to get with you later. Get him. Get me in touch with him. I want him on my show. Okay. Um, I'll see what I can do, Clay. Okay. Uh, tell me a little bit more. We've got about eight minutes remaining here. Tell me a, a little bit more about this um, PAZ, the political uh, Part anti of the anti-Zionist. Well, since neither one of the major parties, the uh, Republicans and the Democrats, you know, they they work for the man. They work for the Rothschild. In fact, Rothschild picked Obama. Uh, we need a party that's for America. 
And, you know, by identifying what the biggest threat to America and our American way of life is as the name of the party, I think that is the best way to go. So people know what is the political ideology that is suffocating the world. It's this political Zionism. It wants to become the globalist system. Like you said before, we are all Palestinians now. If, if you don't think that Israel will do to us what they do to the Palestinians, you're very, very misled. Okay. The reasons why they do it there is because they can. If they could do it here in America, they would be doing it in America. Look what they did to the Russians. Look what they did to the Ukrainians. Look what they did to Eastern Europe. These same Bolsheviks, Mensheviks, neocons, socialists, communists, Marxists, whatever you want to call them. As Rabbi Wise said, some call it communism. I call it Judaism. Because Judaism is the fountain from which all these criminal, satanically inspired political systems come from. And when I ask my, my Zyre Christers, my uh, Judeo-Christians, which are all misnomers, I ask them, like, why is it okay today for you to give a pass to the religion of the children of Satan when Christ himself, when he was in the flesh, told you exactly what he thought of them? How did they get washed and, and, and neutralized to where they're okay now? The same demonic ideology in the Talmud and Kabbalah still exists today, and our Christ railed against it. So why are you, why, why is Pope John Paul Cash II calling them our elder brothers? Paul, okay. I've got on, on, on the back of Mystery Babylon, now remember Mystery Babylon, is, it says on the top, it's an Israelite handbook for true Christians. The forces arrayed against us are the legions of Lucifer. Right. Mystery Babylon, New World Order Unveiled, today's headlines were written over 2,000 years ago. And on the back cover... I said, what if Jesus was absolutely correct when he said, I know thy works and thy tribulation and thy poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Fear none of these things which thou shalt suffer. Be thou faithful unto the death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan which uh, they say are Jews, but are not. But do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee. Revelation yep. 2. This is what your Bible is telling you, folks. Well, don't read it. Don't read Revelation. No, no. No, that's right. And, and I say right here, and we've got this book outlines what, I, what Revelation is talking about. 2,000 years ago, the Bible told us of the coming of the New World Order as the eighth beast, the mark of the beast, and warned us about the Jews who say they're Jews but are not. Jesus told us they were liars and of their father Satan in this book, the past meets the future. This is the handbook for your political movement. <laughs> I'll have to check it out, man. It's, it, it, you'll, have, you'll have it in an hour. It's, right, it's got the and it's got the whole history of the Patriot movement. You know what's happened here. Why they're trying to uh, they're they're trying to demonize not just Christian identity, but Christians anywhere around the world. Right. Are under attack here, especially in Palestine right now. If there's Palestine, what do they want you to think the Palestinians are Arabs? They're Christians. Half of them, my, most, a lot of them. Right. Aren't the they? majority of them are. It just had well, Christians in this, in this country rising up against Israel to demand that they get treated, you know, like humans. No, they've been brainwashed. They're like, he who blesses Israel will be blessed. He who doesn't bless Israel won't be blessed. It's like, first of all, you need to know who Israel is. And it sure as hell isn't the pretenders that got put there in 1948 by the satanic Rothschild family. That's right. That's right. And, you know, I don't have any problem believing that your ancestors and my ancestors walked out of the uh, the Middle East and in over the Caucasus Mountains and became called Russians or uh, British uh, English uh, uh, German that we were of the Israelite tribe tribes oh we definitely are for Western European man there's no doubt about it from the language to the colors to the standards to the towns that we call, you know, European, you know, but cities and, and towns across across Europe. The satanic ones, the ones who, uh, the ones out there who have as their motto, warfare by deception, and that's the Israeli Mossad, the drug running Mossad, all that's in Mystery Babylon too. 
They run the drugs in this country, and then they use the police to come in and bust you for the drugs they brought in and sold you. Uh-huh. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's as big a scam as the whole Federal Reserve loaning you the money to pay those police. Exactly. And it can be turned around if we can break the conditioning, you know, and, and the demonization and the whole divide and conquer thing here. Now, Paul, I, I think we've covered this. Do you, do, will you have links to your political action committee up on your site? Uh, all that's coming right now. Um, I, I have to put up just the information about Freedom Palooza on, on the front page of the site. It's I, I have so much work to do, brother. It's, it's just insane right now. <laughs> I understand. I understand. Uh, let me do... Uh, one more tune here. I'd rather die than be your slave. Or do you have a do you have another request here? No, that, that's a great song, brother. Okay. That's the music of Poker Face. Paul tapetti has been my guest today. Go to his website, link up. And folks, you need to get a copy, either PDF, which you can be reading tonight, or order the hard copy. Get Mystery Babylon and understand what this whole war is about here. All right. God bless you. Paul, thank you very much for being with me. Blake, thank you always for having me up, and uh, we'll talk soon, I'm sure. All right, sir. Sure.